everyone welcome back my name is Zane and today we'll be looking at Walmart and FedEx order of thousands of electric delivery vehicles from GM's Bright Drop. Well it's a big thing for GM's because they're getting huge order numbers thousands of orders and this is directly from Walmart and FedEx. These are some of the biggest companies in the US and to have them as customers, this will be a big deal for GM. Walmart struck a deal with General Motors backed Bright Drop to reserve 5,000 of the company's electric delivery vans. The company announced today the retail giant says it will integrate the EV into the fleet in the coming years. Bright Drop, which is a GM dedicated electric delivery spin off, will sell to Walmart both of its electric vehicles, the EV600 and the EV410. The EV600 which went into production last fall has 600 cubic feet of cargo space, can travel up to 250 miles on a full battery, and has a gross vehicle weight of less than 10,000 pounds. The smaller EV410 features 400 cubic feet of cargo space and can cover 250 miles on a single range. Meanwhile, FedEx is expanding its order with Bright Drop reserving an additional 2,000 vans that will add to its fleet over the next few years. FedEx has previously said it will buy 500 vehicles from Bright Drop and recently took orders of the first five vans. Now to be sure, neither of these deals are exclusive. Both FedEx and Walmart has said that they'd be interested in purchasing EV from different companies. In addition to Bright Drop, Ford, Rivian and Arrival are all working on their own electric vans for commercial customers. Amazon has said it will buy vans from Rivian and Stellantis while UPS is interested in buying vehicles from Arrival, which is fantastic. Walmart is also conducting trials with Cruise, GM's autonomous vehicle subsidiary. Cruise has made deliveries to 2,700 Walmart's customer in Scott Dales, Arizona last year. Cruise is teaming up with Walmart for robo delivery in Arizona. Cruise is partnering with Walmart to test out a delivery service using a fleet of autonomous and electric vehicles. The pilot project has already kicked off in 2021 and take part in Scottsdale, Arizona. Cruise has yet to settle on a final number of cars it will use as part of the delivery service. The company has maintained a small fleet of five vehicles in Phoenix since 2016. It's the latest in a series of announcements censored on the use of autonomous vehicles in the last mile delivery scenarios. Underscoring a core truth about the technology, it, it's risky to put human passengers in robot vehicles, but it's much less risky to put groceries and Walmart purchases in them. Now it's the latest sign that Cruise, which is a majority owned subsidy of General Motors, is interested in expanding beyond robot taxi and into the world of autonomous delivery. The company is planning to launch a ride hail in service in San Francisco, though it hasn't specified by when it will also be it will also be used in its vehicles to make delivery for two food banks in San Francisco. Cruise isn't the first self-driving company to team up with Walmart. The retail giant also partnered with Neuro. Online grocery shopping could grow fivefold over the next decade, with American consumers spending up to 100 billion on food at home items by 2025. More partnership between Walmart for robot delivery, and it's absolutely brilliant. Now this is more information on FedEx receiving its first electric delivery vans from GM's Bright Drop. FedEx is the first customer to receive delivery vans from General Motors. New EV Focus company Bright Drop, the logistic giant said it will integrate EVs into fleets starting in 2022. Bright Drop, which is a GM new dedicated electric delivery van spin-off, said it deliver five of the largest size EV600 delivery vans to FedEx, the first in a planned 500 vehicle order. The EV600, which went into production last fall, has over 600 cubic feet of cargo space, can travel up to 250 miles on a full battery charge. The van delivery to FedEx facility in Inglewood, California, where they will be housed and maintained, FedEx plans to begin deploying Bright Drops vehicles on the road and making deliveries in Los Angeles starting the first half of 2022 and will add more vehicles as Bright Drops makes them available. FedEx has more than 200,000 monetized vehicles in its fleet. As of 2019, the company had 2,944 electric vehicles in service, which includes electric and hybrid delivery trucks, forklifts, and airplane ground service equipments. The company has committed to spend 
2 billion to become carbon neutral by 2040. So this is absolutely brilliant to see and I hope to see more from these companies that are involved. So thank you for watching this video till the end. I really appreciate that. Subscribe to see more, leave a like, leave a comment. If I missed anything, let's have a discussion. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.